So today we're going to talk about Cochrane. I love Cochrane. It's located about a half an hour northwest of Calgary. And in my opinion, it's one of the best communities, cities really, to live in close to Calgary. I'm going to today talk about four specific reasons why Cochrane is awesome and also be honest with you guys and put out some negatives on things that you may not like about Cochrane. So watch this video right to the end. Hopefully it gives you a really good understanding of why Cochrane is amazing and a place you want to consider and also give you some ideas on why it might not be the right fit for you. Hey, I'm Frank Peresta with the Frank Peresta Real Estate Group. We're an award-winning team right here in Calgary. We deal with Cochrane a tremendous amount. My kids play hockey there. They run to school there. They play soccer there. So I know Cochrane intimately and I really love the area. So make sure you watch this right to the end because I think you're going to get a ton of value here and make sure you subscribe if you like this sort of content. So without wasting any more of your time, here is the first reason why I think Cochrane is amazing. And the number one reason is just access to the mountains and nature. When you get out to Cochrane, as you're going down into the valley off the highway, you see the mountains right behind you. And that is why you live in Calgary. That is why you live in Alberta. You see those beautiful Rockies and the sun is just setting and it's all red and it's just gorgeous. And that pretty valley is stunning. And to drive into that every day after a busy day at work, a busy day at school and just life reminds you of why you live there and why it's so special. Basically in Cochrane, you get out onto the highway and you're into Kananaskis, you're into Can more you're into Banff and then into BC's playground within minutes it is really really special within the town it's centered around the Bow River which is awesome as well and the city's done a really good job of creating all these natural paths around the river all these open areas lots of golf courses places to walk your dog to hike it's just awesome and when you get there you notice how special and how different Cochrane is even though it's only half an hour 45 minutes from the city now the opposite of that is, so what's something bad about that is, you're not right inside Calgary, right? When you're inside Calgary, it's 1.4, 1.5 million people right now. It is becoming a mecca of activity. So you've got the downtown, which employs pretty much everyone, and the downtown is significant. It's a big downtown. And you've got tons of theater and restaurants and coffee shops and professional sports teams and it's action. You know, there's a ton of energy in Calgary. So people love that. And if you're living in Cochrane, it's a slower pace of life. It's a little quieter and you've got that commute. So that was, you know, a negative. The second reason was a commute. You know, when you want to get back into Calgary or if you're working in Calgary, you've got a bit of that commute. Personally, I love that commute. You turn on a podcast, you turn on some music and you just relax and you enjoy it. But for some, that may be a negative. The other reason why I love Cochrane, and you know, it truly does have that small town feel. When you move in there, sure it's grown, but people know each other. There's the rink, you know, they've got this awesome rink and it's a gathering point. Everyone knows, you know, which team you're playing on, where your kids are, where they're going to school, where you go to church, all these sorts of things. The restaurants on, you know, Friday night dinners or Saturday night dinners or whenever you're going out to the restaurant, you bump into neighbors and friends. At the grocery stores, like I can count so many times where I'm going through the Safeway or just buying some stuff the Walmart and you bump into people that you haven't seen for a little while. Hey, how's it going? How's your son James? How's your daughter Charlotte? How's your wife? Oh man, that was a great, you know, soccer game that the kids were playing last Saturday. You truly have a lot of that. And when you're in Calgary, you don't. It's just so busy and so active. And even if you're in your neighborhood, you rarely bump into people you know. Oftentimes you don't even know your neighbors and that's cool as well. But if you're looking for that sense of community and that sort of, uh, uh, you know, feeling of belonging, Cochrane is something that you want to consider. Now, the negative to that is the opposite, right? If you're a private person, if you don't want to deal with that chitty chatty stuff, if you just want to do your things and be left alone, you might not like Cochrane because you know your neighbors are going to knock on your door with an apple pie. They're going to come and visit you at Christmas. They're going to invite you to things. And if you're not the kind of person who likes that sort of stuff, then Cochrane probably isn't for you. So these are the sorts of trade-offs that you're looking at. Um, the thing I also really enjoy about Cochrane is, you know, that sort of helping each other and Western hospitality feel. If you go back 20, 30 years ago, Cochrane was very much a Western sort of town. The downtown has done a really good job in incorporating that Western culture, but um, it really was, you know, a lot of ranches and a lot of farmers and just people living in rural sort of Alberta. And they would come into Cochrane to buy their supplies, to hang out, to go to church, and then they'd go back out to their towns. So that's kind of the Cochrane history. And as it's grown, you know, that's changed a lot, but they've stayed true to that. So you've got 
got this sort of Western hospitality. You've got this idea that, you know, you help each other and that you're proud of that heritage. And because of that, it's really special. They do an, a you know, a tremendous job of creating festivals that people support. So there's a, a local rodeo in town, for example, that just gets packed. There's a, a light up Cochrane event where everyone turns on their Christmas lights and there's this thing downtown that draws tons and tons of people. And it's super cool. There's all kinds of farmers markets at the rinks that people come to and gravitate to. So Cochrane does a really good job of creating these sort of special things that bind the people together and that's really cool. Um, again, let's talk about some negatives of Cochrane. One of the one of the negatives, in my opinion, and this is a, this may be a small one, but when you get to Cochrane, there's a little bit more wind sometimes. You're close to the mountains, and everyone knows what a Chinook is, right? It's where it comes from California, and this warm wind comes. Well, in Cochrane, that wind can get pretty strong sometimes. The other thing that happens with Cochrane is you're closer to the mountains, is you get a little bit more weather activity. You know, it can uh, it can change a little quicker when you're in the mountains. Everyone says things can change in a minute. Well, with Cochrane being closer to the mountains, sometimes you get a little bit of weather instability. You might get, you know, a nice warm day and then it turns into a cold day. Whereas in Calgary, and especially if you're into the northeast or the southeast, you're a little bit further away from the mountains, it's a little bit more stable. So when you wake up in the morning and it's a blue sky and sunny, chances are it's going to be a blue sky and sunny when you're going to bed that night. Um, now, the last thing that I want to talk to you about Cochrane and why I really like it and I think it's an area that you should consider is just all of this together and the lifestyle. When you buy a home, you of course buy a place that you love. You know, you like the design, you like living there, you like the neighborhood, but you're also building a life. A home is where you break bread. A home is where you start a family, where you live with your wife, where you create these memories that last you forever. And life goes very quickly. And you need to look at your community and your neighborhood and your home and say, is this gonna work for me now? But is it also gonna work for me 20, 30, 40 years from now? And I will tell you, living in Cochrane, very, very rarely do I hear someone say to me, I made the wrong decision. They get into this area and they get to know all the people, they get to know the amenities, they get to know the community, and they just create a life there that's amazing. And I think second to none and something really special. People from across Canada start looking at, you know, moving to different cities and certain areas for affordability or lifestyle. And when they look at Cochrane, they see something very special. And they envision themselves living there and building this incredible life and just enjoying everything Cochrane has to offer. So I hope this video provides some value to you and some insight into Cochrane. I think you can see that I am a bit biased here and I really love the place. And if you are feeling the same way, reach out to me. I'll give you the honest truth. I'll tell you exactly what I think is great about Cochrane. I'll also take you the negatives. We'll show you all the different things. And you know what? We'll go from there. So make sure to subscribe if this type of stuff is interesting to you. And I'll do my best to provide good content going forward. Thanks so much.